Hey everybody, it's Darren Moore again for CAD Microsystems and Bluebeam Review. We got a question earlier that said, uh, hey, how are sets different from studio sessions and projects? And I kind of know this, but I didn't want to put it in my own words, so I found the text that we see here, and I sort of put it together. Uh, a Bluebeam Studio session combines the best of cloud storage and collaboration. Simply upload your PDF to a studio session and invite attendees from around the world to view and add markups to the same PDF in real time or in their own time. All session activity is tracked in a record that, it, that conveniently, conveniently links back to the PDF. You can even create reports to archive or share with your team. So basically you get real-time collaboration with a Bluebeam Studio session because you can have one person placing markups and explaining what those markups mean to another person who is also in attendance uh, looking at the same PDF. They can add their own markups um, and they can also signify their understanding through re replies and uh, no one can uh, edit or remove anyone else's markups in a session. Even the administrator could not remove someone else's markups in a session. Now, a studio project acts as a simple document management system, giving users more flexibility and space when sharing and storing files in the cloud. Hosts can invite an unlimited number of attendees to join a project. That's true, unlimited. It's crazy. Uh, and upload folders of any file type, also true, to be viewed. PDF files stored in projects can be used to start a session for online collaboration and markup. Hosts also have the power to set permissions for groups of attendees or a single attendee, uh, such as a, the ability or, or the, uh, the permission for a single attendee, sorry, uh, such as the ability to add or delete files. Invite attendees to a project, create sessions from a project and manage uh, permissions. So to me, a project is a shareable online file cabinet. I can upload a, any type of file to this cloud environment and send out an invitation to anyone who I think should see and work with these files. Now, Bluebeam review sets allow users to open and collaborate, uh, uh, open a collection of documents in a single view with pages organized in a specified sorted order, including any revisions and addenda. Users can navigate through multiple files as though they were one document without actually merging them into a single file. Additionally, files that normally cannot be combined due to PDF security or digital signatures can be viewed as a cohesive collection. Viewing, so basically, uh, the sets concept allows us to view several separate PDFs as though they were one. If you had a multi-page PDF and you were looking at that multi-page PDF on your thumbnail panel, you would see all the thumbnails. Well, if you had a set with multiple uh, PDFs in it, you were on the sets panel, it would appear as though you were looking at your thumbnails panel. Uh, let's go ahead and create a set. I'm going to bring up a file folder. This folder is a folder we cover in our level two class. It's a, a folder called plan set. It has 15 PDFs. They're all separate. Uh, now I want to create a set uh, of these. I don't want to have to, and I think probably the set would be most beneficial or uh, most valuable for PDFs that are not necessarily all in the same folder. You, you want to view these files that are related somehow, but you don't have to open several different folders. In this example, these files are all in the same folder. Now, if I go to the sets icon, which looks like a stack of documents, I'll go ahead and left click sets panel, right? And I'll go ahead and open up the sets drop down and click new set. And then it kind of tells you almost exactly what I told you here. That's, this, is, this is one of the sources of that information of what a set is. I'll click okay. And in this dialog box, I'll go ahead and click add and I'll navigate to my class file folder. It might take a second, I'll go documents, Bluebeam Review Level 2, Class File, Plan Set, and I'll just select all of these PDFs. There we go. So I shift selected. Then now these are still shareable. A set is still shareable. That's what a relative path will do for you. I can take this folder and send it to somebody and they can put it on a different, net, different network, different path, and the relative path will allow them to open that set and see these PDFs without having to recreate the set. Now if I go to Options, um, first you'll have sorting and by default, I'm not making any changes here. You're going to sort by file name and page label, uh, sort by, or you're going to show the file name and, and the page label. You'll sort, sort by file name and page label. Sorting is alphanumeric. All these are changeable, uh, but these files are sort of best aligned with the default settings here. Revision filter um, is automatic and so forth. Uh, if you've got markups on newly added revisions, they'll be copied if you want. Uh, you can unflatten markups before copy and so forth. So this is going to be really great for uh, updating uh, PDFs. If you have new PDFs come in to your office and you need to swap them out, sets will be very beneficial for that. Now for categories, these categories align with the AIA uh, uh, you know, 
naming convention category, naming convention like general, civil, landscape, and so forth. You can delete any category you do not wish to use, or you could add additional uh, categories. And basically, you would just click the plus sign to add a category, and you would put in, let's say, um, I'll put in lighting. And uh, my keyboard's not working very well, but I could type in lighting here and then uh, add a filter like EL. And you can see that the, the way the categories work, civil for uh, civil's a category, fil this filter is C, landscape's a category, the filter is L. You can also change the sort order, but th these uh, this current sort order is basically in the uh, order that you would see in, in an AIA um, associated uh, file or set of files. Now for tags, uh, by default, there'll be a tag for your sheet name, a tag for your sheet number, and no tag for the revision number. And the tags are automatic. They help you create a, um, some people will call it a drawing log, but it's like a PDF log. So I'm not making really any changes here. I'll click OK. And then um, if uh, we're kind of good to go, you could save the set right now. If I go ahead and click save, I, I could save the set. And basically this is that drawing log. It's the tag log that you can see here. And the tag log is sort of doing an um, auto mark where it looks at regions of the PDF and sees the file name, the page label, and so forth. The grayed out sort of uh, cells you see here are not changeable, but you can change the sheet number, change the sheet name. Um, add a revision number and so forth. Let's say we haven't had any revisions yet, so I'll leave that as it is. But then later on when I do have a revision, and let's say they're, they're all revised at the same time, I could sort of um, select and shift select. Eh, it's not let me do it. Um, there we go. I'll just sort of drag uh, up up the screen. I'll type the number one. And again, I mentioned my, my keyboard's giving me a hard time. So just know that you could change your uh, revision number. I'll go ahead and click OK. And this is where I'll save this new set in my plan set. I'll just call it plan set. I'll leave it. Like I said, my keyboard's giving me a hard time today. So I'll go ahead and just click save. And so the list of categories has changed. The files have been uh, reassigned and so forth. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And so now I'm back in the, the sets new set. Uh, BEX is the file extension. And I'll click OK here. And again, you can see the, um, the tag log. I'll click OK. Now, basically, I have my sheets uh, set to my sets panel open, and I can see all the PDFs in this set. And I can basically treat this this set as a single PDF. I can send the entire set to the to the printer, archive it, whatever I need to. Um, now, when someone has, if I send this set to somebody else, they can open that set. Um, you know, I just send that, send the whole folder. They would click open, go find the BEX, and then open that set. As long as that path is relative, they'll be able to open uh, that set. They can create a new set, close the set. You can save the set if it hasn't just been saved. Uh, save it as a different file name. Select all the PDFs. Select the latest re revisions or previous revisions. So this is, this is great for versioning. Um, publish. So you can com combining really does allow you to make one a PDF, multi-page PDF out of out of a set. Um, create a PDF package, which would sort of be like a packing list that would allow you to sort of send that PDF somewhere if you needed to, or expo export the drawing log, which is what we saw earlier. Then you can modify your set. If I click modify set, it'll again tell us what sets are, bring back the original dialog box where I could add or remove uh, any set that I, or add any PDF that I need to. Uh, and then again, show me the tag log. If I go to the next one, I can add additional files, right? So that's going to show me that you'll see. And actually, that little dialog box, you might want to put a check mark to not show you that because it will keep popping up. Um, I can edit the tags, right? It takes me back to the tag log, and I can sort of edit my tags if I need to change author name or anything. I can search. This is kind of cool. If I click search, it actually takes you to the search panel, and you can search for text or images in a set. And these are all separate files. So it's kind of a cool, very powerful uh, command. And then finally, you can turn off, uh, show or hide your thumbnails like so. So that, that's no thumbnails, that's your thumbnails. I like thumbnails. But ultimately, you're treating, uh, what did I say, 15 or so, and, and any, any number of separate PDFs that maybe you don't want to combine or maybe cannot be combined because they have digital signatures or they have um, security um, assignments, you know, password protections or whatever, whatever. They can be merged in a set, but they cannot be combined. So it gives you the benefit of having a combined multi-page PDF. You're not having to open and go to several different folders. These PDFs could all be in different folders and still be part of one set. 
So that is a Bluebeam Studio set. Allows you to sort of uh, view several separate PDFs as one multi-page PDF. Add some convenience. And I will say this. I won't go through it. But if later on, if I get a like a whole, let's say the the person who originated this um, set of PDFs, they they've updated all of them. I could go into the batch uh, tab and then go look for uh, slip sheeting right there. Slip sheet. And with slip sheeting, I could add um, the open set and then add another set. Like let's say I've got a folder of updated PDFs and hopefully they use the same uh, sheet names and sheet numbers. I could add those and just match them by sheet name and sheet number or I'd have to match them manually if they had different sheet names and sheet numbers. So basically the, the set concept allows us to treat multiple PDFs as one single PDF. I hope that helps. Uh, I'm Darren Moore for CAD Microsystems. Uh, you want to control a bunch of uh, PDFs as though they're one PDF. You just Bluebeam it with uh, Bluebeam review sets. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.